Hi everyone, we're going to use synthetic division to work on this polynomial division. First of all, we need to make sure all the polynomials are in order, which they are already in order in this case. Next, we need to include the missing terms. Here we have x to 5 and right after that we have x to 1. So we are missing the exponents 4, 3, and 2 in between them. So I'm going to include them and rewrite the polynomial x to 5 plus 0 x to 4 plus 0 x to 3 plus 0 x to 2 minus 8x minus 6. Okay, so our polynomial is ready to divide. The divisor is also in order and also it doesn't have any missing terms, so it's good. Now, we need to find the corner number first. To find the corner number, set the divisor equal to 0 and solve it for x. So I'm going to add 1 to both sides. And from here, x will be equal to 1. So this is my corner number. I'm going to write that here. This is the corner number. Next, we are going to list all the coefficients of our polynomial. The coefficient of the first one is 1. Then it's 0. 0, 0, negative 8, and negative 6. Then I'm going to draw a straight line here and start by bringing the first number down. So the first one, bring it down here. This will be 1. Then multiply 1 by the corner number. 1 times 1 is 1. 0 plus 1. You're going to add these two numbers and then write that here. So 0 plus 1 is 1. Then multiply this number by the corner number again. 1 times 1 is 1. Next, again, we're going to add these two. So 0 plus 1 is 1 again. 1 multiply by the corner number. Again, it's 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Negative 8 plus 6 is negative 7. Negative 7 times 1 is negative 7. Negative 6 and negative 7 is negative 13. So that was the last step that we did at this point. We are ready to write our quotient. The quotient is taken from this last line that we have here. The remainder is also going to be taken from here. The last number that you have here is the remainder. It's negative 13. All the numbers that are listed before the remainder are going to create our quotient in this way. This is the coefficient of x to the 0. Then this is the coefficient of x to 1, x to 2, x to 3, and x to 4. So you start from 0 and go ahead, and each time you add 1 to the exponent. Now I'm ready to write my quotient. 1 times x to 4, which is just x to 4. 1 times x to 3, x to 3. 1 times x squared. 1 times x to 1. I can just write that as x. Negative 7 times x to 0. We know that anything to the power of 0 is basically equal to 1. So if I have negative 7 times x to 0, is negative 7 times 1, which is negative 7. So I don't really have to write the x to the 0. I can just write as negative 7. So this is our quotient, and the remainder is negative 13.